Hey, this is Pedro Prepper, and uh, I just want to make this little video. There's two reasons I'm making it. One is to honor a great knife, and number two is to clarify something I said on one of my videos. On my top three survival tool video, um, I said that the K-Bar was a my minimum level of acceptance, and uh, somebody said, what do you mean, minimal? How could you think the K-Bar is a minimal knife? And that's not exactly what I said, and that's why I want to clarify. What I meant and should have said, maybe I didn't use the right choice of words, is that this knife, the K-Bar, this is my standard. My standard for judging and comparing survival knives, okay? This is the standard. I could say this is the middle level, and maybe that's another way of saying it, that... You know, anything below this level or this standard, I would probably not recommend unless you just didn't have the budget. And, uh, you know, so to me, this is a great knife, uh, the K-Bar. Um, I, I love K-Bars. In fact, when I was a small boy, I had a collection. Um, my dad would take me to different pawn shops and military things and surplus places and I would buy um, I would buy knives, K-bars, I'd buy swords, uh, bayonets. I had kind of a small little collection. It wasn't a collection worth a lot of money, but um, you know, I had the collection and uh, you know, I just love K-bar. I love knives, I love bayonets, swords, the whole deal. So anyway, I love I love the K bar. I think it's a great knife, especially in this price break. It's a proven knife. The K bar has proven itself in survival situations, combat situations, utility situations. Um, it's a great knife, an incredible knife. It's hard to beat the K bar in its price break. This is a between a $60, $75 knife. Um, and that range, you know, it is an exceptional knife. Now, I did compare it to another knife, the uh, Cold Steel. This is the Recon Scout. And I don't know if people, when they're watching a video, they kept calling it a couple guys commented and called it a Trail Master. This is a Cold Steel uh, Recon Scout. And, uh, you know, it's similar to the K-Bar, so it has a full hollow grind. And, uh, you know, it's a little longer, a little different than a K-Bar. Um, I want to say that the K-Bar is a great knife and is point break and force intended use. Now, however, as a prepper, you know, there may be better, there may be knives that are just as good or possibly even better. Now, it's a personal judgment as to your specific use of the knife. For example, this is a Becker BK2, um, and I believe K-Bar actually makes this. Um, it used to be made by, uh, uh, I don't know, if it shows who made it here, but I think K-Bar now currently makes it. I, they took over the design and manufacturing. But this Becker BK2 is like a tank. It is solid. It's thick. It's a tool. It's a pry bar. So maybe for some preppers, if you want to pry things and really abuse your knife, this may be a better choice than a K-Bar. Now, just for a fighting knife, if you were just going to fight with a knife, I would choose a K-Bar. The K-Bar is more streamlined, easier to wield, has a little bit longer blade for penetration. You know, so see, you got to understand the purpose. What's the use of the knife? What's the intended purpose and use? That's critical. That's why I like this cold steel because it has, you know, it's thick, has about the same durability, similar durability of the Becker BK2, and that doesn't mean that mean that is that the K bar is also a very durable knife. It's proven, but this is a little thicker and it's a little longer, so it's a combination of durability and fighting ability. And that's why I choose a cold steel knife, because preppers are a little different from survivalists. Now, none of these knives may be as good as some bushcrafting knife if you're just going to be a survivalist and do skinning and little, uh, you know, and things like of that nature. 
um, if you're not going to use it for combat and you're just you know in a survival thing but uh, there may be better choices I'm not saying these are the best of the best but in the price breaks these are quality quality knives now here's another knife that is really a good quality this is an Ontario Ontario I'm not sure if you can read that Randall designs this is, a, this is not the rat this is the tack and uh, this particular knife is a great knife it's durable but I chose it for a specific purpose as you can see it's smaller shorter than the than any of these knives it's more in line it's even shorter blade than the uh, Becker BK2 and perhaps not as durable I don't think or you know so not quite as thick but it's this is a D2 steel but I chose this for a specific purpose because I wanted a small everyday carry knife that I could stick easily into my uh, you know my expedition or bug out bag because it was easy to carry on a day on a day basis now if I was going to bug out in my bug out bag I prefer this knife and if I didn't have this the Becker BK2 would work the, the K bar would work all these knives are great phenomenal knives and they fit the needs of a prepper and I'm talking about for prepping because here's a scenario as a prepper you are not in a survival situation that may last until you're rescued you're in a survival situation that may last the rest of your life you may be driven off your retreat you may be uh, bugging out you may if you have an inferior knife and it breaks what are you gonna do you can't go to the local store and buy another knife you can't go online and order a knife because you're on the you're bugging out so that's why I pick knives that I think are durable and have functionality now as a bushcrafter you may say oh these are too big or too bulky too heavy or whatever but I'm looking for durability I'm looking for fighting self defense ability and uh, I want a knife that's not gonna break and I believe all these knives have the characteristics of durability they're thick knives um, this is a thinner the K bar is a little thinner but it's a good good steel and it's proven and it will function these knives will function they're good knives so I just want to give you a heads up and say no man I didn't disrespect the K bar I love the K bar I think this is a great knife um, and and it's not a minimal knife it's just my minimal level of acceptance and in other words I try to avoid any knife that is not equal or on par with the K bar because I consider the K bar a standard this knife will work for any use that a prepper has because I don't care what knife you have any and every knife can fail if you misuse it or if you're not if you don't use it right even if they just don't have yeah, their tools and any tool no matter how the quality can break so it's up to you to really utilize it the way it was intended to use but these are all durable they're all great knives and uh, man I love the K bar um, I wish I had my collection man I just miss it you know and I have several of every knife I have I've been using this and I've used this knife for years I can't remember how many I have oh I mean I use these knives but I have so many knives that uh, it's hard to keep track of the darn things anyway this is a uh, Pedro Prepper just want to say uh, God bless you and keep on prepping and this is Pedro Prepper over and out